Rapid or explosive decompression. A fast depressurization is recognizable by the following elements. Mist in the cabin, pressure and temperature drop, a blast towards the exterior of the aircraft, expansion of body gases, or a blast of air released violently from the lungs. Following an explosive decompression, the maximum altitude without oxygen at which flying efficiency is not impaired is 8,000 feet. The first action by the operating crew during an explosive decompression at high altitude is to put on the oxygen mask. Slow decompression. This may be caused by a slight air tightness defect or a malfunction of the pressurization system. One would know that the automatic pressurization system had malfunctioned if there was a change in the environmental sound, the cabin barometer indicates a sharp rise, or the differential pressure between the exterior and the interior becomes equal. When flying straight and level at flight level 290, for some considerable time, a small leak develops in the cabin. This would be seen on the cabin rate of climb indicator, which would show a rate of climb. If cabin altitude increases during level flight, the differential pressure decreases. Here's a graph of aeroplane pressure altitude in thousands of feet versus cabin altitude. There are a number of differential pressures shown on the graph ranging from 2, 4, 6, 8 to 8.6 maxima. You could choose a differential pressure for your aircraft, let's say 8.6, and 8.6 with a cabin altitude of 5,000 feet, you could see that you could fly at an aeroplane pressure altitude of 30,000 feet. If the differential pressure was reduced to say 4,000 feet due to some limitation and you still wish to maintain a cabin altitude of 5,000 feet, you'd only be able to fly at 15,000 feet now. Due to a cabin pressurization defect, the maximum differential pressure is limited to 2 psi. Using that same graph, Assuming the oxygen mask will deploy at 14,000 feet, the maximum achievable flight altitude is approximately 20,000 to 21,000 feet. Due to a cabin pressurization defect, the maximum differential pressure is limited to 3 psi. Assuming the oxygen mask will deploy at 14,000, the maximum achievable flight altitude is approximately 24,000 feet. 500 feet from the graph.